Let's have a look at this custom A1 toolkit designed around the tray insert supplied by Bamboo Lab with the A1 printer. The bottom half is for the tray while the top half provides space for your hot ends and silicone socks. Slide latches to secure the toolkit embossed with the Bamboo Lab logo. The case has various storage options and can be printed in any color you like. The plastic tray just snaps into the bottom half of the toolkit, which keeps it firmly secured. The hot ends have magnets, so I've inserted steel washers into the print process. The silicone socks are retained over the pin designed into the holder. Neither will fall out when you close the lid. I've printed some toolkits in the bamboo colors, but you can make the design to suit yourself, you don't even have to print the standard logo and text, you can add custom text as desired. A pause is added to the print process to allow steel washers to be inserted, I'm just using super glue to keep the washers in place, it also helps stop them rattle when opening and closing the case. Make sure you don't use stainless steel as most types are not magnetic and won't work, you can test it on the hot end magnet if you are unsure. Give the glue a couple of seconds to do its thing then press continue on the controller. The print will try to print a series of lines over the washer, this can be a little rough, not all strands will be perfect. I've added a center boss to try to make the span smaller, you can hear it's knocking on the bit sticking up. Don't worry too much, I've printed a few of these and the finish comes up okay. Now let's have a look at the Fusion 360 model. You can see the tool kit has been fully modeled including the logo and text on the lid. If we open up the change parameters table, we can change the number of hot ends that you want to see on the lid. You can select a single holder, two holders, three holders and a maximum of four holders. You can also suppress the hot end feature and have a blank empty lid. You can customize the size of the washer that you have available, something near 20mm outside diameter, 10mm inside diameter, and 2mm thick. You can customize this to suit what is available to you. We can scroll back through the timeline to take a closer look at the washer accommodation. There is 1.5mm around the inside and outside diameters and 0.5mm on the thickness of the washer. Now to generate the print file for the box we need to turn off the washers and both slides. So, all we have is the box and the artwork on the lid. From the export menu select step file and export. Now let's output just the slides. Go through the model and turn everything else off except for the slides. When you are finished you should only see the two slides. From the export menu select step and add the word slides to the file name so you can tell the difference. Now let's open up the box step file in Bamboo Studio. Press the auto orientate button and then set up your filament colors. I am going to make the box bamboo green with white artwork on the lid. Click on the paint bucket, make sure it's set on the paint fill type and select the color then start painting. Standard 0.2mm layer height. For strength we will make the walls for loops with 2mm bottom shell thickness and sparse infill pattern to gyroid. You will need to enable supports. I prefer the tree auto option. Tick on build plate only and support critical regions only. Make the support base the same color as the box. If the prime tower is in the way either make it smaller or move the model out of the way. Now find the layer just before the washer cavity starts to be covered in. We will need to add a pause in our program. And now you can see that the program will pause at the right spot for you to insert the washers. Add a build plate, import the slides. Split the model into objects then auto orientate and arrange them on the plate. Slice the plate and make sure the solid base is on the build plate. Select the slide object and then make them the color you want. Save the project and send them to the printer. Here we go on my second print inverting the colors, the green looks nice. Once again just a bit of super glue to hold in the washers in place. Give the glue a couple of seconds to do its thing then press continue on the controller. Here you can see I've added the round islands to make the distance the bridging has to span less, it still has a bit of trouble but it comes out okay. If you were fussed, you could manually pause it and neaten it up a bit. The more layers it prints the better the finish looks. So, if we zoom in on the finished surface it looks okay. After it's printed you need to break off the tree supports. There may be a little stringing you need to tidy up to allow the slides to move smoothly.
Let's insert the A1 tray into the green case. Drop a hot end into the top and close up the case. I like the green case a lot. 